tensile testing. Tensile testing is a mechanical testing method used to evaluate the mechanical properties of materials under tensile pulling forces. It provides valuable information about a material's behavior under tension, including its strength, ductility, stiffness, and toughness. Here's an overview of tensile testing. Purpose. Tensile testing is performed to determine how a material behaves under tensile loading conditions. It helps to assess the mechanical properties of materials, such as tensile strength, yield strength, elongation, modulus of elasticity, Young's modulus, and fracture toughness. Tensile testing is essential for material selection, quality control, and engineering design in industries such as aerospace, automotive, construction, and manufacturing. Procedure. A standardized test specimen, typically in the form of a dog bane shaped specimen with specific dimensions, is prepared from the material to be tested. The specimen is gripped at both ends using a testing machine equipped with grips capable of applying a controlled tensile force. The testing machine applies a steadily increasing tensile force to the specimen, causing it to elongate until it fractures. During the test, the applied force and the resulting elongation, strain, of the specimen are continuously measured. The test is typically conducted at a constant rate of loading until failure. Although different testing standards may specify variations in loading rates and testing conditions, Parameters. Tensile strength. The maximum stress that a material can withstand before fracturing under tension. It is calculated by dividing the maximum force applied during the test by the original cross-sectional area of the specimen. It represents the ultimate strength of a material under tension and is typically measured in units of force per unit area such as pounds per square inch or megapascals. Measurement. Tensile strength is determined through tensile testing, where a standardized test specimen is subjected to a steadily increasing tensile force until fracture occurs. During the tensile test, the applied force, load, is continuously measured and the corresponding stress force per unit area is calculated based on the original cross-sectional area of the specimen. The tensile stress continues to increase until the material reaches its maximum load. Bearing capacity at which point fracture initiates and the specimen breaks. The tensile strength is then calculated as the maximum load applied to the specimen divided by its original cross-sectional area. Yield strength. The stress at which a material begins to deform plastically, IA, undergo permanent deformation without further increase in stress. It is determined from the stress strain curve of the material. Yield strength is an essential parameter for designing structural components and predicting the onset of plastic deformation in materials under mechanical loading. Measurement. Yield strength is typically determined through tensile testing, where a standardized test specimen is subjected to increasing tensile forces until deformation occurs. During the initial stages of the tensile test, the material undergoes elastic deformation, where stress is directly proportional to strain according to Hooke's law. The yield strength is defined as the stress at which the material exhibits a specified amount of plastic deformation typically indicated by a noticeable deviation from the linear elastic region of the stress strain curve. Types of yield strength. Upper yield strength. The stress at the onset of plastic deformation, typically associated with the upper yield point on the stress strain curve. Lower yield strength. The stress corresponding to the 0.2 offset yield point where the stress-strain curve intersects with a line parallel to the elastic region, offset by 0.2 strain. Elongation. 
the percentage increase in the length of the specimen before fracture compared to its original length. It provides a measure of a material's ductility. Types of elongation. Uniform elongation refers to the uniform stretching of a material along its entire length before fracture occurs. Localized elongation. Localized elongation occurs when deformation is concentrated in specific regions or defects within the material, leading to necking or localized thinning before fracture. Modulus of elasticity. Young's modulus. A measure of a material's stiffness or resistance to deformation under tension. It is calculated as the ratio of stress to strain within the elastic linear, region of the stress, strain curve. It is typically measured in units of pressure, such as pascals, megapascals, or gigapascals. Measurement. Young's modulus is determined through tensile testing, where a standardized test specimen is subjected to increasing tensile forces until deformation occurs. The stress Strain curve exhibits a linear relationship between stress and strain in the elastic region, allowing for the calculation of Young's modulus as the slope of this linear portion. Factors affecting Young's modulus. Material composition. The chemical composition, microstructure, and bonding characteristics significantly influence a material's Young's modulus. Temperature and environment. Environmental factors such as temperature, humidity, and exposure to corrosive substances can affect Young's modulus. Strain rate. The rate at which stress is applied during mechanical testing can impact the material's elastic behavior and Young's modulus. Fracture toughness. Fracture toughness is a critical mechanical property that measures a material's resistance to crack propagation and fracture under applied stress. It quantifies a material's ability to withstand the initiation and propagation of cracks without catastrophic failure, making it an essential parameter for assessing material reliability, structural integrity, and resistance to fracture in engineering applications. Here's a detailed overview of fracture toughness. Measurement. Fracture toughness is typically determined through experimental testing, such as the compact tension or single edge notched bend test methods. Factors affecting fracture toughness. Material composition. The chemical composition, microstructure, and mechanical properties of a material significantly influence its fracture toughness. Presence of defects. Structural defects such as voids, inclusions, and discontinuities can act as stress concentration points and reduce a material's fracture toughness. Temperature and environment. Environmental factors such as temperature, humidity, and exposure to corrosive substances can affect a material's fracture toughness. Applications. Tensile testing has numerous applications across various industries where understanding material behavior under tension is essential. Here are some common applications of tensile testing. Material Selection and Quality Control Tensile testing is used to assess the mechanical properties of materials such as metals, polymers, ceramics, and composites. Manufacturers use tensile testing to verify that materials meet specified requirements and standards, ensuring consistent quality and performance.